I'm doing a brief video today on my top four favorite, my Bibles that I, my, what I call my study Bibles, my blue collar, what I call my work Bibles. Uh, each one of these Bibles here has a different important thing that it brings to my study and, and enhances my study. The first one we're going to take a look at is the keyword study Bible, which is called the Hebrew Keyword Study Bible, which it brings original text to life. What this Bible does, it, it has a AMG dictionary and concordance in the back, which brings out the original meaning. It gives you the definition of words in depth that you have the definitions right at your fingertip when you're doing an in-depth study of the Word of God. So it brings out a real important traits here. So we're going to take a look at this one here. Now this Bible here is, uh, it is calf scan. Capskin Bible, and it's called Keyword Study Bible. And this one here is the KJB Bible. It is, it is made by AMG Publishers. Now, on this Bible here, it has here, which is, it is Smith's own. So, when you're invested in the Bible, I always recommend that you get a, what they call a Smith's own. Some call it a Smite's own. And what this Bible here does, it has its sewn rather than glue, because glue Bibles after heavy use, they will continue, to, they will wear out and it will start to come apart at, over time. So it always, to spend a little extra, get a good Bible that's going to give you years of service out of it. So this is the Keyword Study Bible here. So how does Bible here do? We'll just look at the introduction on how to use the Bible. Most Bibles have an introduction in the front on how to get the best use out of the Bible. So every Every book in this Bible here has an introductory page. So the introductory page here, it tells you about what you're going to learn when reading this particular book of the Bible. In your study, it's always good to study your Bible, studying the entire book where you can get a great understanding on what you're learning in that particular page. It's not just flipping from page to page, that type of study method there, what I'm going to... People say, well, what am I, oh, whatever God wants me to see, I just open up to. That's not really study. You know, so it's always good to study the Bible, the whole entire book, so you can see what the author was conveying, what God has to say to us in that particular book. So on this one here, the Keyword Study Bible here, it goes, it has here the introduction. Every book has an introduction here. It tells you what, you, what you're going to learn about in that book there. And then it has here, which it has here is the underlining word. So when you see the word underlining here, and then that number that follows, that means that you can look up that particular word in the back of the Bible to see exactly what that Bible, that particular word meant in the original text here. And so here it's got here a single italic superior preceding word. That lets you know when you see that there, that's a cross reference over here where you can go to other scriptures that's going to bring out texts that relay that same message and you can get a greater understanding of what the Bible says and it lets the Bible interpret itself. Rather than you looking at what to see what someone else had to say from their study, you're getting a grasp of what it has to say personally yourself here. So when you see this here, this is basically here is multiple superior letters here preceding the Royal the New Testament grammatical code. It comes up with a grammatical code that explains how that particular word there, uh, the, the tense and the how that word was used here. Now this Bible here does have notes. It's not have a large amount of notes at the bottom, but it does have notes to give what that particular scripture text was talking about and what it's saying and some additional cross references. So it has a lot of good features here. Now here it is, if you look here, it says here. It's got here where you can see here, it is a red letter edition here. So the words of Christ are written in, in red here. And like the word power has the number one. So if you go to reference verse eight over here, and it says here when it's referring to the Holy Spirit of the power of the Holy Spirit coming up on you. So it gives a reference there. And then what, another thing I like about this Bible here, it has here subject references, what it's saying about in a particular section of the text here. 
What I like about that there, when you're reading through your Bible and you can just see something so you know when you, it helps you to find what you need, that you know it's in a certain chapter here and, and it breaks that down so you can quickly go to it. it there. So this is a great Bible here. I have had this Bible here. I've had several of them and I had a hardback. So when this one came available in the in the casket leather, I invested in this Bible here because I, I like that it, uh, my preferred Bible is the King James Bible. I have other translations, but King James is my preferred text of study. And a lot of people say that King, King James is hard to understand. They had a difficult time pronouncing it. But what I like about this here, a lot of archaic words, it looks up the meaning of those words here, and you can go to the back and actually find out what a particular word says here. Like here it says here, for the lovers of ourselves, covenant boasters. So if you want to look up the word proud, pride, you look at 5242 in the back. So in the, in the, it's got two different, uh, Old Testament dictionary, and then it's got a New Testament. So if you go to New Testament, you will look up 5244. So we'll just go to that right quick now. Fifty-two forty-four. That's dealing with pride here, and that is, and as the definition. Let's get this camera to focus here, and it gives the definition here of fifty-two forty-four, and it says here, appearing above others. That's what pride is when a person feels like they're appearing they're better than others, and it gives a definition there, and it also lists how it is used. And different references, uh, different places in the scripture where it it brings out what talking about people that are walking in pride here. So this is a great Bible here to get a grasp and an understanding of what words in the Bible actually mean. Because what the Bible, what words mean at in the time when the Bible was written, and what the Bi words mean today, sometimes that's they they can change. So that's why it is real important to have a Bible that you can basically study the word out for yourself, know what the word means. So that way when you understand what it means, you can effectively share with others what the text is saying. And another Bible that I like, and I said, it is a Bible here, but this is a cross-reference Bible. This, this Bible here is, uh, it is made by TBS, and it is a large print Westminster reference Bible. So on this Bible here, I've had this Bible here for uh, a couple years, and they this they came out with a large print, so I'd already had the smaller a version of the Bible, which that one has a concordance. This one doesn't have a concordance, so due to the large size, I guess where they didn't want to make the Bible too big, they left out the concordance in there. But this is a great Bible here. What this Bible does here, it has a it has a abundant set of cross represent and it's also Smithsonian. And this Bible here, and this is the box that came in. This Bible here has over two hundred thousand references. That is a lot of references. It's large print. It's an eleven point eight font, so it's got great study up. And this is a Mervin calfskin letter here, so. This is a great Bible here, and just we'll just go to Genesis 1. So if you look at like uh, Genesis chapter 5, uh, I mean chapter 5, verse 5. So if you look here, this is all the reference it takes you to different scriptures in the Bible to bring out the meaning of letting scripture interpret scripture, and the more you look at cross-references, you get a greater understanding into what the Bible is saying in that particular text there. And then here at, 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 at the beginning of every chapter here, it goes in the depth of what's going on in the chapter. So you can look at the footnote at the top here and it'll go here.
the wickedness of the world in Noah chapter 6 here, Noah finds grace. So, and the order and form and end and of the ark here. So it lets you know on what is a breakdown of what's actually going on in that particular chapter there. Now, this is a black letter, so it's not a red letter edition here, but it has great references here. And we'll just look at some of the other features here. It explains here, and uh, this is a table of weights and measures. So as we're reading through the Bible, it gives like what is different uh, terms that's used in the Bible. Shekels, what is a shekel? And the exact weight here. And a talent, what is a talent? A talent is what it is, what does it weigh? 66 pounds, 30 kilograms. So Old Testament weights. So it goes into... New Testament, and it goes to New Testament, Old Testament liquid measures, Old Testament money, and it's got here like a piece of silver worth in today's time would be 16 cents. A shekel, what that would be worth in today, it would be 26 cents. And a talent would be worth, what that would be the equivalent worth of that, you know, generous to this uh, precious metal, gold and silver. So this is a great Bible here. It gives you a lot of reference. I enjoy about this Bible here. I always like to look up the references to see what, what that particular section of Scripture, that verse is talking about, and see what other verses have to say dealing with the same topic. Uh, this Bible here, it kind of functions in the same way as the Thompson chain. So it was a toss-up between the two when it comes to a reference Bible. And I picked, I gave this one here just a slightly better score than the Thompson Chain, but the Thompson Chain is a great Bible for doing cross references also. It has the words where you're not going from place to place, but it has them all in the back most of the times, and then sometimes it'll refer you back here. So those are two Bibles that I like here. So those are two what I call like reference type study Bibles. And I'm going to look at what I call Bible that has a lot of notes in it, note type Bibles here. This is what I call, this is the Life in the Spirit Study Bible here. Now it is made by Zunderman. And I've had several of these over the years here. And this is actually the third one that I've, I've had on this one here. This one here is what they call a top grain leather. So it is a good working Bible and it is, this Bible here was uh, added, the editorial of this Bible here was Donald C. Stamp. Now, what I like about this Bible here, this is what I call, it is a Pentecostal study Bible. What the, the notes have basically more geared toward Pentecostal, but it is good, sound, solid doctrine you'll find in this Bible here. Now, I have two Bibles here I also use or as Pentecostal, from a Pentecostal perspective, Life in the Spirit Study Bible. I also have the Dakes Bible here, but I gave this one here. I like this one a lot better because there's places in the Dakes that I don't agree with his teaching, So, but you don't throw out the bath with the uh, baby with the bath water, so there's times I don't agree with him, but that is also an excellent Bible to use there for as a, where it has a great deal of notes and references in that Bible there. Now what this Bible here does, it has a different articles in this Bible here that you will find throughout this Bible here. You know, articles like on the judgment of believers, the resurrection of the body, the spiritual gifts of the believers. So you, you got great references throughout the Bible. So we'll just look at a little bit of this Bible here. And this Bible here, like I said, is from a Pentecostal perspective. Uh, Donald Stamp, what he done is he was a missionary establishing churches, Pentecostal churches down in Brazil for many years. He went home to be with the Lord before this was completed, but he compiled the notes. And the reason he God gave him a burden to put this Bible together, it was to equip pastors and lay people to study so they would be effective in ministry. So this is a Bible that I have been using. Like I said, this is the third one that I've had. And this is a great Bible here. And it has different, uh, you will find the verses throughout the Bible. And you will find the verses that it basically, when you see this reference here, this is basically baptized with the Holy Spirit when you see like the dove here. And then this, 
gifts of the Holy Spirit, you'll find that next to the verse, the fruit of the Spirit. And verses that are dealing with healing, you'll find that there. Faith that moves mountain, verses that deal with faith. On witness and sharing your faith there, you'll find that. So verses that deal with salvation, the second coming, the return of Christ, victory over Satan and demons, overcoming the world and worldliness, praise, walking in obedience and righteousness. You'll see the foot, foot, uh, footsteps here, the two feet here, that means walking in obedience. And it has word studies throughout the Bible here, and then it also has maps built into the text, subject in text, theme finder, reading plan, and, and a good concordance in the back here. On this Bible here, so we'll just use, for example, here, on this Bible here, we'll look at, take a little brief look at Genesis chapter 3, the fall of man here. So it, like if you see here, it's got great deal of, quite a bit of notes, so it's got good, solid notes here. This is one Bible that I've read through, and I hadn't found very little, if any, anything that I found in this Bible that I wasn't in agreement with what he was teaching there. So that is real important, you know, to get a good, solid Bible. This is not a name it and claim it gospel. This is preaching the Word of God here throughout this Bible, this Bible here in the notes that this great man of God put together. This is a very valuable tool here. This Bible here, and it's got introductions and every, and through on every, every book in this Bible here. And it is a red letter aversion. It does have the Seneca references here. It has a good thorough concordance in the back. So this is a great Bible here. You know, I've done a, had this Bible for quite a few years here. And another Bible here that I've had, I've had several of these and I've gave quite a few of these away. This is the Life Application Study Bible. And this is what study Bibles are all about. This was actually when I first got saved. This was the, one of the first study Bibles I had. This was the second one that I had. I had a Life Application Hardback Bible. I used that Bible for years until it fell apart here. And I had one of these Bibles here. I got some years back and I gave it to a guy that was about 20 years ago. A new Christian got saved. He devoured that word and I just seen how God transformed here. What this Bible here does, it has application notes. So all the notes here primarily deal with how can you apply the word of God to your life. That's what Bible study is all about. And each person in this Bible here, key people in the Bible, it has notes. It talks about, it gives you, talks about that person here. And then what was that, what was that person about? What do we learn about that person in the Bible? It tells about the, the strengths and accomplishments of that person. And it also tells you about the weakness and mistakes of that person. And then the lessons from this person's life, what we can learn from that person's life, whether his failures or his victories, and see how we can put that to work in our life. So these are four Bibles here. This is a black letter edition Bible. Also, it doesn't have red, it doesn't have the red letter in Christ, but this is a very good Bible that you can use. I mean, this Bible will give you many hours of good quality study. At the end of the day, it's about putting the word of God in your life. My only drawback for this Bible here, and I understand why they made it, the print is not as large as I would like it, but and this one here is a New American Standard, so this Bible here it doesn't have large print because I've seen the large print, and those will kind of remind you they're as big as a, a phone book, but this Bible here, they had to keep the size condensed to be able to get all the notes that they needed in here, but this is a Bible here that has stood the test of time. And like I said, I have been familiar with this Bible for the last 30 years since I I got saved. So this is a Bible that doesn't stood the test of time. There's a lot of Bibles come out. They new Bibles they come out, they're around, and then you don't see them. They kind of lose. But this Bible, all four of these Bibles here have stood the test of time. They're great Bibles that will bring you years and years 
of great study, and they were also Bibles that each one of these four Bibles will impact and change your life and make you the person that God wants you to be. And may you have a blessed day in the Lord, and I hope I had said something in this video that may be a help or a blessing to you. May God bless you in all that you do.